za mchujo zinazidi kukumba na sui tofahamu na kufikia sasa chama cha ODM kimeathirika pakubwa katika maeneo ya Taita Taveta piga kura wamelalamikia kucheleweshwa kwa shughuli hiyo katika sehemu za Kitengela kaunti ya Kajiado wafuasi wanashuku uwepo wa njama za wizi wa kura huku katika kaunti ya Transnzoia wafuasi wakipigwa na jua kali hadi saa sita wakisubiri masanduku ya letwe Mark na Maswa na msururu wa taarifa za kura ya mchujo kaunti mbalimbali Wafuasi wa ODM eneo bunge la Nakuru West wakipinga kukosekana kwa majina ya waniaji bunge Lucas Okiki na Eric Ogada kwenye orodha ya mchujo. They want to scheme tribal tribal scheme so that Ogada misses another week candidate comes so that they balance the scales of the tribe they get a week candidate from ODM. Nakuru is a very sensitive kwenye kaunti ya taitataveta uchaguzi wa mchujo ulicheleweshwa vituo kama shule ya mwamgea na kalela vifaa vya uchaguzi vikikosa kufikishwa kutoka mwatate hadi voi kwa wakati ufao ngoja pasa kuna mbili nimefuata na wema mmoja na nimefika hapa ngauliza vipi maboxi maboxi zikasemekana hakuna heri tubadilishe viongozi wengine wanaweza kutusaidia nimesikia ni kwamba huyu mheshimiwa wetu governor amekataa na nini na maboxi na kutoka huyu watu wamekuja wakienda wamekuja wakienda taarifa za Jumatatu zilisema kundi la vijana lilijaribu kulemaza maandalizi ya kura leo kwa kuvamia ukumbi wa CDF Mwatate na katika kaunti ya Transnzoia mchujo wa ODM pia ulicheleweshwa baada ya vifaa kufikia vituo saba kati ya 25 kufikia saa sita unusu mchana hiyo ile wakati wa kuiba kura na kufanya mchezo sio support na kama kumta anafikiria hiyo maneno afikirie mara mbili kwa sababu hii kiti imeenda na irudi tena mpaka saa hii imefika saa tano enda saa sita hakuna mtu hiyo bado tutaziingia hapa hii inamaanisha nini hatuwezi na hatutatoka hapa mpaka tupige kura unachagua wow. ule wenye niko ndani ya haki yangu hatuwezi lasimishwa na kama ni wakubwa wanalala usiku wakikaa kando wakifikiri sisi ni wajinga tumerefuka mara hii wafuasi wa ODM walilaumu kutojiandaa vyema kwa chama chao kwa mchujo kwenye kituo cha St Monica Kitengela kaunti ya Kajiado majibizano makali yalizuka madai yakiibuka kwamba mwaniaji mmoja alifikisha sanduku la kura zilizokuwa tayari zimepigwa hakuna venye hapa asubuhi saningo na watu wengine wanapatikana hapa wakati majents wa leader wanakuja wanazuiwa kutuingia mi mwenyewe amenishika shati hapa wanataka kunipiga maana tumepata all aspirant are inside others are missing so we are demanding for our right as voters and we have to defend our votes aspirant watoke hapa agents watupange tupige kura wakuje baadaye kutupigisha kura hiyo ni kitu ya muhimu Waniaji walijifungia ndani ya kituo nao vijana wakizidi kuzingira eneo hilo wakidai hawatapiga kura hadi hali ya mambo irekebishwe. Mark na Maswa KTN News. Kwenye chama cha ODM mapema leo kimeendelea na chaguzi za mchujo katika kaunti za Nyamira, Kajiado, Nakuru, Transnzoia na Taita Taveta. Vile vile mvua kubwa ambayo ilishuhudiwa katika kaunti za Nyamira na Kajiado ilitatiza usafirishaji na vile vile usambazaji wa vifaa vya kupigia kura ili kuendeleza shughuli hiyo na kuanza kuchelewa katika baadhi ya vituo kura ya mchujo katika maeneo bunge ya Nakuru mjini magharibi imeahirishwa baada ya kugunduliwa jina la mmoja wapo wa wagombezi wa kiti hicho halikorodheshwa kwenye makaratasi ya kupiga kura We have since confirmed that indeed this happened but security personnel moved in with speed and repelled them We want to assure our members and our aspirants that there was no destruction the election material was not tampered with and it was distributed to police stations where the exercise is going on smoothly so in taita taveta despite the hitch the process is ongoing in kajiado county voting began on time save for a few areas where vehicles transporting election material 
had difficulty in assessing polling centers in the interior of the county due to the heavy downpour in the area. The same applies to Nyamira County, where it had been raining the whole night. Nonetheless, voting is underway. In Kitengela ward of Kajiado East, the vehicle transporting election material to St. Monica polling station got stuck in the mud due to the rains and in the process some ballot papers were taken away by some people who were helping the driver get the vehicle out of the mud. The National Elections Board has decided that voting in that particular polling station be called off and a new date will be announced. However, voting in the rest of the polling stations in the ward is going on. And what we are doing at every stage is where we are finding that things have moved to a point where it becomes difficult for us to be able to get on, tra on track. We are deciding to postpone and we are informing about the debts so that we can be able to do it uh, in a manner and in a way that will be involving for everybody. Wazamaji labda kukuarifu tunataarifa nyingine ambazo tumezipokea kutoka kwa baraza la kitaifa la uchaguzi katika chama cha ODM kwamba limeahirisha kura za mchujo ambazo zilikuwa zinatarajiwa kuanza kesho katika ukanda wa Pwani hapa nazungumzia maeneo kama vile kaunti za Kwale, Mombasa, Kilifi, Lamu na Tana River na sasa baraza hilo limesema kura hizo za mchujo zitafanyika siku ya Jumamosi ya tarehe 22 mwezi huu wa Aprili Tukiendelea na taarifa zaidi baraza la wazee katika kaunti ya Busia limetishia kuongoza wakazi wa kaunti hiyo kukihama chama cha ODM wapo uongozi wa chama hicho hauta mkabidhi mbunge wa Funyula Polo Toma cheti cha ushindi wa kura za mchujo wakiongozwa na aliyekuwa mwenyekiti wa chama cha NAT George Wesonga wazee hao wamesisitiza kuwa ni wazi kwamba Otoma alishinda kura hizo na kuwa ni sharti chama hicho kiheshimu demokrasia na uamuzi wa kazi Waze hao wameapa kuunga mkono uamuzi wa wote ambao utakaochukuliwa na Polo Toma kuhusu uchaguzi mkuu. ODM nominations which were done and the results released in Busia in favor of Ojamong the former I want to put it the former uh, governor were not correct results as evidenced by a lot of proofs and it's because of that that we are here to tell the ODM secretariat especially the board of elections that we would like to give it a condition that they withdraw that certificate which they wrongfully gave to Ojamong immediately and the correct uh, person or winner who was Paul Otoma Nyongesa be given that certificate or new certi be issued by a uh, new certificate immediately before the day ends today. Otherwise, we have given as elders Polo Tuoma Nyongesa express permission, if not given that certificate, express permission to lead us to anywhere he will want us to go so long as his name will appear on the ballot box on 8th of August. Bila shaka mtazamaji hivi ndivyo mambo yanavyoendelea na tutakuwa ni wenye kukuarifu na taarifa ambazo tunazozipokea kuhusiana na zoezi hili la mchujo wa kura katika maeneo bunge mbalimbali mbali, na hata county kuanzia wiki jana tulivyokuwa tukiendelea na bila shaka tutakuwa ni wenye kumalizana na zoezi hilo hapa nchini Kenya. Tuendelee na taarifa zaidi mtazamaji na wagombezi wa viti tofauti county ya Baringo 
wamejitokeza na kulalamikia kutokuwepo na haki kabla ya mchujo katika chama cha jubili siku ya Ijumaa wiki hii wagombeaji hao ambao walikusanyika katika taasisi ya utawala ya Kenya School of Government mjini Kabarnet wali walaumwa na siasa fulani kuhusika pakubwa katika uteuzi wa maafisa wa IEBC au kipenda presiding officers kwa lugha ya Kiingereza kwa wakati mmoja mbunge wa Mogotio professor Helen Sambili alijibizana na Daniel Tuitoek anayewania kiti hicho cha Mogotio We gave names of people who applied. They applied to the elections board of this county. But of yesterday, when they were being trained, I got to know that actually 90% of the presiding officers in my constituency belong, have been openly campaigning and supporting my opponent, Dr. Daniel Tutaik. I want to say Jubilee should relook and see to it that we get a competent uh, or competent people to come directly immediately to the ground Kongineko mtazamaji afisa anayesimamia uchaguzi katika chama cha ANC eneo bunge la Butu la kaunti ya Busia Silas Masika nusura ajero hiyo ina wananchi katika shule ya msingi ya Butla kufuatia utata na uhusu ratiba ya usajili kulingana na wakazi afisa huyo alitoa mwelekeo ambao haukukubaliwa na idadi kuu ya wanachama kuhusu ni nani aliyestahili kupiga kura ikizingatiwa kuwa mwongozo huo haukutumika katika maeneo yote hata hivyo mwaniaji wa bunge Mary Makoha na mwaniaji wa wakilishi wadi Patrick Obuya walielezea masitiko yao kufikia sasa saa saba mchana kumradhi hii leo Baadhi ya vituo vilikuwa havijaanza shughuli hiyo huko eneo bunge la Teso ya Kaskazini likiwa halijaanza shughuli ya upigaji kura. Kongineko Rais Uhuru Kinyata amepata mapokezi ya kufana katika kaunti ya Kisumu ambapo aliweza kulakiwa na viongozi mbalimbali mbali wa siasa na vile vile wa kidini. Gavana wa kaunti ya Kisumu Jack Ranguma, mbunge wa Karachonyo James James Rege na seneta mteule Joy Gwendo walikuwa miongoni mwa viongozi ambao waliomkaribisha Rais Kinyata. Mamia ya watu walifurika katika barabara za jiji la Kisumu kutoka uwanja wa ndege hadi katikati mwa jiji ambapo walimkaribisha kwa vifijo ila baadhi walalamikia kupanda kwa gharama ya maisha. Aliposimama kwa utubia wananchi hao, Rais Kinyata alisitiza amani wakati huu wa uchaguzi na kuwataka vijana kutokubali kutumiwa kuzua vurugu wakati wa kampeni na uchaguzi kwa ujumla. Nam naarifiwa pia kwenye muda mfupi uliopita tu Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alimaliza kutubia washindi katika lile tamasha la michezo ya kuigiza na densi katika taasisi mbalimbali za elimu humu nchini. Kutoka Kisumu mtazamaji tuelekee katika kaunti ya Kwale ambako waziri wa zamani na aliyekuwa balozi wa Kenya nchini Tanzania Chirau Ali Makwere amepata pigo kwenye azma yake ya kuwania nafasi ya ugavana kaunti ya Kwale baada ya mgombezi mwenza Simon Mkala kumtoka na kujiunga na mwaniaji wa tikiti ya ODM daktari Isa Chipera 
Itakumbukwa Jumamoja lililopita mtazamaji kiongozi wa Wipa Kalonzo Musyoka aliwaidhinisha Mwakwere na Mkala huko Kinango. ODM inatarajiwa kufanya uchaguzi wa mchujo siku ya Jumamosi ya tarehe 22 na ni siku kwamba ya Jumatano na Chipera akipambana na katibu wa kudumu wa zamani Muhammad Marapayo wa Mochai na mfanyabiashara James Dena. Leo na furaha ya kutangaza ya kwamba Dr. Isa Chipera amepata mgombea mwenza ambaye atafanya naye kampeni na kuchukua uongozi wa governor hapa kwani na si mwingine bali ni mwanasiasa mwenye kuishimika aliyekuwa chama wa ODM kwa muda mrefu sana ambaye hawezi kumwacha baba peke yake ambaye tuko naye hapa katika hii house na sikuna mwingine ni bwana Simon Mkala tafadhali sasa mimi naunga mkono kabisa kumchagua daktari Chipera awe gavana wetu wa kwale na mimi nataka kuunga mkono mambo ambayo daktari amesema mimi nikiwa running mate wake msimamo wangu kwanza pamoja na yeye ni kuangalia mabadiliko kwa vijana wetu wa kwale waliosoma na ambao hawakusoma wengi wamekosa nafasi za kazi mtu na digiri yako kwingineko mtazamaji zile kura za mchujo katika chama cha Waipa zilikumbwa na matatizo katika kaunti ya Mombasa hii ni baada ya baadhi ya wapiga kura kuzuiliwa kupiga kura kufuatia majina yao kukosekana katika orodha ya waliosajiliwa katika chama cha Waipa akizungumza katika shule ya msingi ya Mvita Afia Rama ambaye ni mgombea katika nafasi ya mwakilisho na wake kaunti ya Mombasa alionyesha ghadhabu zake kwa sababu hiyo Mgomezi huyo alidai kuwa utumizi wa orodha mpya ya wapiga kura ni njama ya kuiba kura. Ta ambayo inatumika sio current register. Tumeenda through that register. Jina langu nimelipata lakini si roll namba yangu sio ile ambayo niko nayo na kadi yangu ya current sasa. Kumaanisha watu wengi ambao watakuja hapa hawatapiga kura kwa sababu ya hiyo serial number na wengine kuwa kadi zao pale zitakuwa na majina yao hayako. Tukangoja mpaka saa mbili na tukaambiwa kuna pepa zimekosekana. Na tumekaa hapa kutoka saa kumi na mbili kuja kupika kula sawaiba. Na karandazi ijatokea na tumeshangaa kuna nini kinachoendelea. Wewe ambaye atakuja na voting card na genuine ID is going to vote. We will attach the list with the main register Na kongweneko mgombeaji wa kiti katika cha eneo bunge la Kabete Shege Gitau kwa jina la mtaani Chege Fresh ambaye alitoweka wiki jana amerekodi taarifa kwa polisi katika kituo cha Kingero Chege ambaye aliandamana na wafuasi wake amesema kuwa anawapa muda maafisa upelelezi kuchunguza kisa chake japo hakutaka kukizungumzia kiundani kwa madai uchunguzi ungetatizwa wakati huo huo ametupilia mbali madai kwamba amejiteka nyara huku wafuasi wake wakimtetea vikali ombi yetu sisi kama vijana tunaombea shege Mwenyezi Mungu ili aweze akamshidania katika uchaguzi wake na sisi sote tunaambia hata vijana wazee wa mama siku ya juma siku ya Ijumaa tarehe 21 tuamke mapema ndio tuende tukapitisha Shege fresh. I want to thank my supporters for praying with me. I was praying where I was. And I can tell you it was not a good ordeal. It's something I cannot even wish to my worst enemy. It's something that uh, made me think twice about politics. But uh, through prayers, I am very safe. I've given all the information to the authority. And in fact, I've challenged them to give us a report sooner so that I can be also be, I, I should know the truth. We should know the truth as Kabete people. I can tell Kenyans that uh, through the efforts and every machinery that was employed in place, Mweshimiwa uh, is here. He's here. And uh, 
investigations are continuing. Let Kenyans know that uh, police investigations are open. They are not prejudicial. Na hatimaye tuelekee katika kaunti ya, ya Garissa ambako gavana wa kaunti hiyo na Thief Jama amepuzilia mbali muungano wa hivi majuzi unaozileta pamoja jamii za Abduwaka na zile za Samawandal maarufu kama Telemunge akisema kwamba hautastahili siasa za wakati huu mwanahabari Cecilia Karoki Cecilia Kumradhi wa kesho ana taarifa zaidi Siasa za mashauriano ya demokrasia katika maeneo ya kaskazini mashariki zinaendelea kuchukua mkondo mpya kila kukicha huku idadi kubwa ya viongozi ikionekana kutokubaliana na uongozi huo. When you talk about alliances, clan-based alliances, I can also call for other alliances. But that's not politics. Politics, the one that we want in Garissa County, is politics um, whose success has to be based on achievements. Gavana wa Garissa na Thief Jama ambaye amepuzilia mbali muungano wa hivi karibuni kati ya jamii za Abduwak na Samawadhan ukipenda tela munge amesisitiza haja ya siasa za maendeleo huku akitaja imani yake kwamba atachaguliwa tena. That those who are behind it are meant to be leaders of unity for everybody in Garissa County. Those are the leaders who really should think and work towards uniting the people of Garissa entirely and not a small cross section those are thoughts that will not work and indeed will be defeated very early in the morning Abdi Hassan ambaye alikuwa ametangaza azma ya kuwenye ugavana katika kaunti hiyo akiamua kuyatema maazimio yake na badala yake kumpiga je kijama I prefer to support my brother Nadif Jama Adam to be the governor of Garissa County I'm here by to support fully and we have prepared as a community we back him the next coming 5 years inshallah tumezungumza kinyumbani kama rali wamezungumza waze kutoka ramaguda kutoka madogasha kutoka banana garisa na wametukuta hapa kwa nyumba ya governor wakiwa wameleta umar wakiwa wamesema kwamba umar ame withdraw kutoka contesting as a governor Baadhi ya viongozi katika maeneo ya kaskazini mashariki walichaguliwa kupitia mashauriano ya kidemokrasia kwenye uchaguzi uliopita. Hata hivyo, kwenye awamu hii wengi wao na aswa wale ambao tayari wameonja uongozi wanatofautiana pakubwa na mbinu hiyo. Sisili wa kesho Kate News. Tazamaji siwezi kumaliza bila kuangazia taarifa moja hapa kuhusiana na kilimo ni kuhusiana na viwavi ambao baada ya kuingia sana katika maeneo ya kaskazini mwa bonde la ufa sasa wameelekea katika maeneo ya Nyanza hapa tukizungumzia sehemu za Migori ambako wakulima katika kaunti hiyo wameanza kuathiriwa sana ama mazao yao huenda yakapata hasara na kuzidisha makali ya njaa baada ya viwavi kuvamia baadhi ya mashamba katika sehemu hiyo kulingana na mkulima Michael Ndege kutoka eneo la Kakrao kaunti ya Migori viwavi hao ambao wamevamia shamba lake la ekari tatu na kuanza kuharibu mahindi ambayo wameyapanda kulima huyo alisema kuwa idadi kuu ya wakulima pia wanaendelea kupata hasara kubwa ya kupoteza mahindi na hata mtama katika eneo hilo na kutishia hifadhi ya chakula katika kaunti ya Migori Chifu wa kata ya Kakrao Pio Samara amesema kuwa wakulima wengi wanaendelea kukadiria hasara kutokana na viwavi hao ambao pia wameripotiwa kuvamia kaunti za Kisi na hata Nyamira. Mbinu ni nyingi wanasema kuna madawa katika agrovet na kuna wengine wanasema tutumie omo wengine wanasema pilipili wengine madawa sasa hatujajua kwa hakika ni dawa gani inatumika nzuri dudu inaonekana wakulima wa maigundua kama imechelewa sana kwa sababu zimeingilia mashamba kabisa lakini ukiingia kwa shamba ukiona unaona kwa umbali unaweza ona kwa umbali matawi ya mahindi yametokolewa hiyo mahindi matawi yake ya metano yelo hiyo unajua tu tayari imeingia mahindi Na mtazamaji basi kufikia hapa na tamatisha taarifa za mbiu ya KTN lakini kwenye muda